be touching car lights in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retard Pro. And yes, I answer every question on that Retard Pro page. So if you want to head over to Facebook and send me a message right away. Or again, leave it down below in the comment box. Now, I want to show you guys in this tutorial how I retouch my car lights from A to Z with a few effects and techniques that I use with gradients, marks, brushes and etc. and how I do align them with blending options. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so over on the right hand side here in our laser palette, you guys can see that I have a few groups open. So I don't want to show you guys the complete retouching from A to Z, it's just going to take way too long and I guess most of you know some of the techniques now. So as you guys can see, here are a few of the layers and a few of my images that I took into Photoshop. So I want to start right away out here just with layer 2, which is basically the first image. But underneath of that I have a black background. So I normally always start with a black background, especially if I shoot this on a black background. And if I have a lot of dark contrasty uh, detailed areas here in the shot. So again, starting out just with a black background, so it's easier for merging later. And then on top of that, I add in the new pictures to, in order, obviously build a final result. So let's also talk quickly about four techniques that I use when I do this. Um, the first technique would be either switching your whole layer here with the blending option to lighten mode. So this will be something like this called lighten over here. There won't be a big effect now because you can't see anything underneath that. Let's switch that back to normal, but we, if we go to layer number two here, okay, if I switch that on, you can see it's a bit of a different shot from the car. And if I'm going to switch this to lighten, you'll see only the light pixels will shine through onto our background here. If I'm going to switch this off, the un layer underneath, you'll see this is only this from the second layer. Okay, so first layer on again and off. And now you guys can also see here on the right hand side, I have a few masks. So this is another technique. Second technique, I work with a lot of masks. For every shot, I work with a mask. So I can paint in and brush out or brush in. And then also, third technique is the pen tool to get these edges nice and clean. So I work with the pen tool quite a lot to cut out reflections nicely and also the highlights. And then uh, technique number four will be a soft feathered brush. Also, the brush might sometimes be 10%, 20%, or 50%, or even 100%. So working with that as well. Okay, I don't want to show you guys all these techniques. There are a ton of uh, videos here on our channel where you can view how to work with the pen tool, with masks and with soft feather brushes, which we'll also do now in the last step over here, which I will actually show you guys how to do. But if you want to know more about that, have a look on the channel. Okay, so let's start right away out with the first mask over here. I've just enabled it again. So you guys can see that I basically cut out every uh, thing here that I don't want, like the strip light over here, and the top part. So cutting that away, okay, nice. And we only have now this area over here. So we left with that. Now I took into the second image over here. Again, remember this blending option is also set to normal so you can see everything. Second image, I'm actually going to work with normal over here, not lighten. And you guys can see the light from the shooting was just here on the left side. We've also worked just with one strip light. And again, the camera is on a tripod to keep everything in the same perspective. And when you align these images now on top of each other, they are all in the same composition and obviously align. Okay, then second step over here again, also switch this on again, the layer. So you guys can see the second layer here. Okay, I'm gonna switch on the, so enable again, able the mask over here. And you guys can see, so from this image, I just took in the top part over here. I'm just gonna turn this off and on off and on. Okay, so let's repeat it. Next step here, turn that layer on, off and on, off and on. So you guys can see I want to get a little bit here from the top, a bit of a, the car light and also down here from the panels. This I might also remove now on the next step. Let's switch this one on again. And these layers are still all set to normal. Sometimes I test with light. If it doesn't work with the blending options, lighten, then I switch it back to normal and rather brush it with the mask. Okay, let's switch this on before, after, before, and after. So it looks a little bit better. The reflections are here away. These reflections I like. I would like to keep those. This one also, but I would like to remove this one. So I guess on the next picture, okay, let's also enable this. 
So you guys can see down here, I worked a little bit with this and I think this is also lighten. Yes, over here we have switched it to lighten blending options. So this is a bit of a playing thing. First turn, first drag in your layer, then switch it to lighten blending option. If that doesn't work, then keep it to normal and only work with the pen and the brush tool on the mask. And remember a feathered brush, so you can brush this in really nicely. Okay, second layer over here again, this is just to get these nice reflections here on the light. And what I did here as well is kept it to normal and just with the mask changed just this area over here. So you guys can see comping in just this area. And you guys can see I'm hiding now with this layer again, the beautiful light here from the actual car light. So again, what I did with this is the next step now, which I'll also show you guys is dragged in again another layer where I only have a long shot exposure of the car light. Okay, so let's also go into that and show it to you guys actually. So the last day was still normal and I'm happy now with all my exposures here in the top, the reflections on the car panels, the little strip over here, the top part over here. This I might still don't like. So let's have a look in cleanup. Yes, later in the next stages, I actually also cleaned this a little bit. So let's quickly go to show. Okay, so this is basically my car light. I just wrote there show so I can show it to you guys. Okay, car light. And first step is again, obviously I can set it to lighten. This will give it a nice soft color touch. Again, as you guys can see over here. Or again, I can also switch this to screen, which will make it a bit more aggressive. Okay, as you guys can see, but I'm going to turn it down a little bit now. So just slightly, just so that you guys can see the effect. Mm, let's maybe actually keep it to 76%. I'm obviously going to do a few more adjustments on top. Okay, as you guys can see over here, before and after, before and after. And this is only with the screen set option here, the blending option. If I'm going to keep this to normal, which I said I'm going to show you guys, I also want to switch this back to 100% opacity. I would then go and create a mask from down here, zoom it a bit closer. And sometimes what I would do is invert that mask right away. So I can just again press Command I, invert that. Okay, and now I could work with the B on the keyboard going into the brush mode. Press Control Alt together. And I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet here. So I can move it left and right to either change my diameter or up and down to change the hardness. Now again, I'm going to change my hardness down to 0% hardness. For those here, you guys see it, and the diameter is like 400 or something. And then just with 100% opacity brush, white foreground color, I'm just painting that in. But as you guys can see, I'm losing these nice reflections here in the top. So when I start painting with this, everything comes through, but I'm losing this. So might the uh, lighten option might be the best for this technique. Okay, let's remove this. And over here, okay, I'm going to actually enable, disable this again and switch the whole layer to screen just to see the different effect. So over here we still have, even with the lighten mode and the screen mode, we still have our nice highlights. So again, like I said before, you can either work with these blending options or again with the brush, uh, cut that out really nicely. Or with the pen tool now, I would go in here and cut out the light really nicely in case that lighten or screen mode does not work that great. Okay, like so, obviously create a whole path and then a selection out of this and then on the mask brush only this area. So let's actually, actually do this quickly, delete the layer mask, I'm going to create a new one and right away we have cutting that out and I'm going to go now, you guys can see that this area is just with the pen tool, right? So cutting out a really nice edge so we can have this reflection. And then on the mask, B4 brush, soft edged brush here and I'm just brushing in this and here we get to the reflections again. I'm just going to make my brush a bit smaller and actually cheat a bit and not paint over this. So we can still have a little bit of that reflection shining through. Also, I'm going to create another tutorial soon or actually in the next few weeks where I'm talking about how to create reflections, fake reflections on car lights and on cars. So if you want to learn more about that, do have a look for that tutorial as well. Okay, I'm also going to brush in here a bit more. So like you guys can see, just hiding this a little bit. So you either have the option of obviously doing it with screen or with the normal blending option. Here we go. Normal blending option, which looks a bit bad. Let's actually go and invert this with the brush. Paint this back. And again, like that. 
But as you guys can see, the screen mode works a bit better for this technique. So over here, screen, I will keep it to screen. Great, so that's basically it, how I Photoshop the whole car light together, all these different steps. Again, remember the four techniques, light and mode, screen, with the blending options, working with masks, the pen tool, and a soft feathered brush. Right, until I'm done with my build, so this is my whole build up for the car. Then if you want to, you can still do a master shortcut, where you merge all these layers together, or like I do, I'm gonna open here my clean layer. So this is just my clean group, basically just a normal empty layer here. And on top of that, I with the pen tool, I went in and just killed some of the reflections here, as you guys can see. Okay, this is the before and after, just again with the pen tool, making a nice straight path over here, completing the path. And then what I usually do is hit right click, make a selection, zero feathering, and then be with the brush on a completely 100% opacity black foreground color or I even select the same color from here because you might have a bit of a bluish or a purple tint to that and then just brush that all the way over in here command D and you got a really clean cool line here for the reflection then as well also going in some smaller stuff like over here and here cleaning those up as you guys can see here's the little spot missing so on that layer I can then again with the eyedropper tool select the color over here because it might be completely white press B for the brush and then just paint over this a little bit also soft feather brush again okay zooming out I'm not too happy with this reflection over here but I want to don't want to photoshop onto that now it's going to be way too long for the tutorial but you guys get what I'm doing here again turn this off and then on top of that I just have a bit of a color adjustment here with selective color in the uh, neutral tones. I think these were all set in the gray tones. Let's have a look quickly here. Okay, I'm going to quick, neutral tones, yep. And reds also a little bit, but mostly neutral tones. Again, cyan plus one, magenta zero, yellow minus five, and black minus one. So this is just to get a little bit of a bluer tint into this image. Then as well, some curves adjustment layer here just to get another pop. And you guys can see the pop really helps a lot with bringing the lights out and the highlights really nicely. You can obviously overdo this as well and do it really contrasty, which I didn't want to do. Just keep it a little bit subtle. Great, that's the last technique. And then another step over here would be again adding a frame. So this is just with the marking tool, a strip of white. Just for me to move these things around, I can actually extend this also a little bit. And this just helps me to get my final composition here for the cutoff if I want to have that cinematic look a little bit. Also at the bottom, I can move this a bit and then I would do my final cropping when I'm happy with this. Okay, so that's basically how I do these car retouchings and especially for the light, super, super simple. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, retouching car lights in Photoshop. Easy again, a super simple effect, just aligning your images with the blending options and some masks and brushes. Now also, if you want to learn more about doing reflections and faking highlights and reflections, come back next week because I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next tutorial. Yeah, if you enjoy the content, like always, hit me up with a thumbs up. Share this with all your buddies who don't have a cooking clue what they're doing in car photography or retouching or if they're just interested in this topic. Again, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. And you obviously want to see some more videos because this is a great channel. And check here on the right hand side. You should just click away. Here's some popular tutorials, some old tutorials, some very new tutorials. Yeah. I listed quite a lot for you and on the channel are some more categories like live talk, pro tutorials, behind the scenes, interviews, yep, whatever you desire, just click away.